Alrighty, so it is Monday, the Monday before UCC, and we are getting ready to go. We got Mitchell's truck on the left, got the trans out of it. Nothing wrong with it that we know of. Uh, just wanted to go through it and refresh it before UCC so we don't have any. It's got like, what, 20 passes on it? Yeah, 15, yeah, 20 like passes yep. on it, something like that. But uh, so far, it's been holding up great. No yep. problems. At least no. that I know of. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pull apart, make sure everything's good, second gear band, clutches, all that stuff looks good. And just make sure, just regular shit. So, uh, I think we have a front seal that might be leaking a little bit, so I'm gonna throw a new seal in it. But uh, other than that, we'll just kinda take you guys along uh, throughout the day, whatever little shit we have going on. Um, Paul's not here yet, I think he's gonna be here, I don't know, a few minutes or yeah. something, then he'll be, we working on the Pro Street truck as well, so. And wiring up the AC in this oh, yes. trailer. <laughs> Wire up the AC units in yeah. Paul's race trailer as well. So I'm gonna get this ripped apart and we'll see if what we find. So on a 48 when you want to pull the pump out, grab two bell housing bolts, thread them in to these two holes, and there's your pump. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Take the gear man, I'll be looking. You be looking. It's, it's, it's a little, it's little, a little bit of wear, warm, but, not. but I mean, it's not bad, honestly. No. It's not as bad. I mean, for 20 passes, like. It's a little crack. We'll throw a new one. Yeah, just, they're so cheap, it's not worth even. A second gear band is like 20 bucks. That'll happen a week before you see. see. Looks brand new. Brand spanking new, bud. Like nothing. Yep. Throw them just back in. Wow. How do they look? Let's see them. These? Yeah. Same. Same. New, new. Perfect. Like nothing. New, new. I mean, this this is obviously used a little bit, yeah. but it was machined before we put it in. It is perfect. Yep. Yeah. Definitely needs changed. <laughs> that's a little worn there. Yeah, you'll have that. Yeah, that's a. See you up closer, Bob. Oh yeah. That's uh not good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I pulled this apart. Yeah. I should have it done in the next, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and then Mitchell can put it back in. The Pro Street truck, we are almost completely done with wiring stuff, battery cables need connected, little piddly shit like that. And we need to get with Andre from SNS and get him to flash a base file and, and set up like all the uh, 
like the sensors and shit like that. Well, the PMU, he's gonna do all the can high-low shit for that. I, and I don't understand all that. Like, I know how I wired it, and it's, it's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I did not uh, know anything about it, and then yeah. we got full Franklin. Andre helped me out a lot with that yeah. stuff. So good guys, good real good guys, real good guys. Uh, so you gotta get Paul's race, bro. Yeah, get, get that done. And done is a loosely used term. Yeah, it's done would be. I'd be happy if it's running and driving okay, yeah. to go to UCC. Um, Paul's finishing up like little piddly shit on. He's over there welding air cooler stuff on like the center. Oh, like the bungs and whatnot. Yeah, so little stuff like that. Finish up the wiring. I have some wiring on the transmission and the rear tail lights and stuff like that to do. me to do as far as plugging the uh, pump cover because I know I've seen different guys do it different before he said pump are full of silicone so that's what we're gonna do just like that no more weepage and but well please there we go I'm gonna run this back to a catch can on the back of the truck. That way, if we do have overflowage, it doesn't go out of the pump and on the ground, it goes to a catch can on the back of the truck over there somewhere. I haven't decided where or what, but somewhere. Thanks, Mal. I wanna think of something cool to do for my catch counter that's not a catch can. Well, Paul has a lemonade. Yeah, that was from uh, my first UCC with him. He's having issues with... It's like a, what, a 32 ounce or something? Yeah, just something that we had laying around because it touched the frame. It's still on the frame? I think it is. Check it forever. Whoops. And play. What is the tolerances here? We would like to see 35 thousandths. You don't always get to see 35 thousandths. A little tighter on a race truck doesn't matter a whole lot. Oh, that's money. money. A little bit on the tighter side, but not by like anything yeah. and especially crazy. On a, truck, on a truck that you're just going down the track with. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I know some guys that run it really, really close to zero on a drag setup. Yeah. I think Jeffords knows what he's up to that. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's getting everything on his new truck that he just bought. He's putting uh, back here, taking over the race trailer, getting it ready. There's my new race trailer, which is basically ready. Let's go see what, uh, what Everett's up to. Oh, God. Freshy boy. Here's a new breather that we were talking about. Takes this off. This is where you get to the snap ring that holds in the overdrive section. Under the overdrive housing. Pop these two bolts off. Actually already has a hole perfectly in line for that. That's nice. Put that on there.
Like such. Bring your bolts down and good to go. Jump a time later, but we got everything yeah. in. Trans is in, everything's good to go. I put like 14 quarts in it. I'm gonna start a little idle for a second. Check the fluid level. I'm sure I'm gonna have to. Real quick and see yep. what it does. See the trans overflow. Catch can right there. Twisted teeth. Hey, hey, I think we're already for UCC. I need to wipe it down. Well, I mean, other than a good detail, but. Good detail, and I'm gonna spray paint my white insulation. Because, you know, everybody gets mad at me for the old dust down. It's such a big deal. No, I, I get it why. Don't want track. Well, I mean, we've cleaned it. Austin's cleaned it. Yeah. Like, we've Polish got. Floors, we have literally tried everything. In our power to clean it and it just didn't work we can't get all the dirt out so i'm just going to seal up the back half which worked at texas truck jam and rudy's so i sealed it off again it should it'll be fine after this it'll be fine maybe next i mean winter when no I lying 
this thing's probably had 20 pounds dirt come out of each frame rail. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like, we've lost weight getting it back from Austin. We've lost weight, so. Like, he had, like, piles, piles of, of yeah, dirt piles on of the dirt ground. Dirt. It was wild, but. So now we just need to detail it, spray paint it, and then Wednesday, uh, get it in the trailer Wednesday night, and then Thursday morning or sometime Thursday, just depending on where we're at with that. Um, yeah. Get loaded up and get back, go to UCC, and hopefully have a little bit better luck than Rudy's. <laughs> Yeah, but all right, Dan. That's probably gonna be the end of this video. Yeah, it should be the end of this video. The next video is gonna be probably just Paul's truck, and then maybe some of the prep for the trailer. Um, get the trailer ready. Cause Paul needs that stuff done still, so probably pull that in here tomorrow. Me and Jeff will work on that. Everett and Paul will get back on the race truck, and then Wednesday will be like a. Uh, that's when I'll probably detail this, clean everything out of it, and get my trailer in here and get it. A okay to go. So until next time, friends and family, adios.